السلام علیکم فرینڈس دس از اعجاز احمد اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی ڈاپ ٹی وی ہاؤ آر یو فرینڈس آئی ہوپ یو گائز آر فائن اف یو آر نیو ٹو مائی چینل پلیز سبسکرائب اٹ اینڈ ہٹ دا بیل آئیکون ٹو گیٹ مائی لیٹسٹ ویڈیو نوٹیفیکیشن ان دس کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ مسل ٹیشو ٹائپس آف مسل ٹیشو نروس ٹیشو نیوران اسٹرکچر ٹیشو ریپیئر اینڈ دا لاسٹ ون از ٹیشو ریپیئر اینڈ اسکارنگ مسل ٹیشو مسل ٹیشو کنسسٹ آف سیلس نون ایز مسل فائبرس دا تھری ٹائپس آف مسل ٹیشو ان دی باڈی آر اسکیلیٹل مسل اسموتھ مسل کارڈیک مسل نو کمس ٹو ٹائپس آف مسل ٹیشو As we know, there are three types of muscle tissue in the body are skeletal muscle, smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. Skeletal muscle is stereated and responds to voluntary commands from nerve systems. From the nervous system, cardiac muscle is a special type of stereated muscle, muscle found only in the mitochondria. In the myocardium of the heart has branching fibers connected by intercalated disc that allow for synchronized involuntary contraction to maintain a constant heart rate smooth muscle is non stereated and contracts involuntarily in peristaltic waves that move substance through the body's digestive respiratory urinary and reproductive tracts nervous tissue nervous tissue consists of cells called neurons which passes information and cells that support them called neuroglia nervous system is made up entirely of nervous tissue nervous tissue neuron structure neurons are nervous system cells that can conduct electrical signals and passes information rapidly throughout the body a typical neuron consists of a cell body also called as soma that has many dendrites and one axon signal pass from the dendrites through the cell body and down the axon to the axon terminals when a myelin sheath surrounds the axon it provides insulation that increase conduction speed not all axons are myelinated when the signal reaches the axon terminal it passes to the dendrites of the next neuron or the target cell tissue repair soft tissue organs in the body repair injury through a multi step process that begins as platelets from torn vessels work to form a mess like clot that prevents blood loss inflammation in the area occurs as tissue repair begins in the damaged area mast cells releases histamine that dilates blood vessels and increase blood flow through blood flow to the repaired site white blood cells called neutrophils and macrophages work to consume bacteria and remove damaged tissue and debris as bacteria and dead cells are removed the proliferative phase of wound healing begins fibroblasts build a new tissue by secreting collagen that takes the shape of the original tissue during remodeling the final phase of wound healing the tissue created by the fibroblast matures and regains its normal function tissue repair and scarring when tissue is damaged mast cells release histamine an inflammatory chemical that dilates blood vessels and increase blood flow to the area blood vessels supply area with platelets which form a fibrous clot as well as neutrophils and macrophages which consume bacteria and remove damaged tissue and debris as the inflammatory process continues the clot hardens into a scab and fibroblast secrete collagen to form granulation tissue that matures into scar tissue the repair process is complete once the epithelium has regenerated to its normal thickness the blood vessels are restored and the scab has detached so finally we have completed our class about cells and tissues subscribe my channel like and share see you in next class Till then, have a healthy life. Stay safe. Khuda Hafiz.